everybody and welcome back and today I'm going to take you along with me to a training session at Brook Farm with Nettie Lewis. So I'm just going to grab Nebo's tack and put it into the car but just because then I feel like I've kind of got a bit organised. <laughs> weird if I don't ride and I've not got a gel pad on. Right, and then I needed a whip, wasn't it? So I've got a pad, and then I just need a little short whip. So, I take this one. Right, I don't think I need anything else. I think it was just a whip and the jelly. Boots. Nebo's jumping boots, that's what I need. I always forget something. And I'll probably get there and then go, oh, I've got the jumping boots, even though I've said it on here. I don't even know what's on my coat. Found them. Oh, that um, fleece is in here, Mum. Yeah, for honey. Boots. Well, I think I'm organised. I think that's the only thing I was missing. Was the jumping boots, and I've got them. Hi. Hello. So I'm just gonna go up and get Nebo in from the field. I have to bring him in, let him regain some of his energy, and then he can go on his lesson. So, and he needs a bit of a brush. So, oh, I forgot his head colour. What am I like? Just go all the way down. So believe it, I've walked all the way down to get the head collar. Realised that the water's not filled up. Filled the water up. Walked all the way up here and then forgot the head collar again. I'm sure it's because I'm dyslexic, because there's something wrong with me. I would try attempt for him to follow me, but I just know he ain't. <laughs> they managed to follow me down using a crisp packet, so. That's my saviour for today. Now I'm just going to put him in the stable, give him a little brush and then load him. Right. So the trailer is all ready and hooked on for Nebo. green oh did I tell you the um, the saddler's coming out 
on the 12th of May, so he can check your saddle over. Yeah, I think I might get it. Um, I decided to give this like a little wipe over because it was absolutely filthy. I don't know where I'm going to have to. You're very brave leaving him standing there with just his saddle. Boyfriends always get ignored when girls have got ponies and lessons. Hello. Hi, I'm just um I'm just about to tack up for my lesson. You can come watch if you want. You have to be on about it starts in 15. 10 minutes. Yeah, I'll, it starts in about 10 minutes. Uh, if I left now, I'd probably get there at that quarter past four. Yeah, that's, that, that should be good. Yeah, just turn up then, even if you just see me on the horse, that would be good for a change, wouldn't it? Alright then. Okay, see you there. I'll be outside with all the jumps. What? I'll be outside with all the jumps. Ah, love her. Basically, she's on a nose. Okay, love you. Love her. Right. Who do you love more, Mitch or Nebo? <laughs> <laughs> she can't even answer that one, can she, Nebo? Because she loves you so much. <laughs> yes. Give you a leg up. Hang on. See if I can do it with one arm. One, two, three. This is Annette Lewis. Hello. This is Beefy's trainer. <laughs> so I'm an accredited uh, British show jumping coach. And how long have you been a coach? Um, accredited, I would have said 15 years coaching for British show jump before they started the scheme. 30 years. And Annette, can you just tell the viewers um, some of your victories, please? Oh my gosh. Okay, so first generation horses. My father was a baker in the East End of London. Started riding at two. Won my first pony club jumping at four. Won my first affiliated British show jumping 148 class at six. Got picked for my first junior Europeans under 16 at 11. Junior, young riders, senior British teams won the Grand Prix at Royal Windsor, Speed Horse of the Year, second in the Speed Derby, um, double clear in my first three Nations Cups. Been there, done that, got the t shirt. Fantastic. <laughs> there is more. <laughs> okay, so uh, one more lap.
you just explain to everyone why you start off with the poles and across and then you gradually build up? Okay, so I think the most important thing for show jumping is to be able to go straight. So with a cross pole, it helps you be in the middle. Okay? Yeah. The top poles are there to help you get your eye in because I like to basically fall into canter. Yeah. Because if I ask for some people to canter, it's so big then they can't adjust it. Yeah. So I just trot, land, encourage the canter, go back to trot. So we're lengthening and shortening. Yeah. So when we go and jump the course, those are the things that are important. Straightening is okay. the way to adjust your canter. Yeah. Okay, um, let's do the four strides. Curve line to this blue one here. The pole's there to help you not go too wide, but wait for this one. You've opened up on a four stride distance. So this one, people come and see a great big long stride. They'll chip in and have it round. So just shorten your canter. Think about your straight line after. So just start like, oh yeah, you start the canter. So what a course builder does, test it, testing your ability to adjust what you do, to lengthen, to shorten. Yeah. And having the skill and the knowledge to know when to do and it. And that, is that why some courses are more difficult than others? Some courses are more difficult than others because some course builders build without consideration. Forward! One, two hands up. Now steady, steady. Steady. Now just wait. See what I mean? If she had to be skillful, if she yeah. kept coming on that forward canter, she would have had it down. She'd end up with a very long stride or no stride at all. Yeah. So it's about to lengthen and shorten. Yeah. Okay. That was nice. But you see what I mean? By just shortening him there, then you had him in his hand and he jumped it lovely. So.
so you're a darling. Well done. Good boy. Do you find it difficult teaching youngsters like Fifi who've got dyslexia or not at all? Does it not affect the sport? Um, I like people to tell me because then what I do is instead of saying maybe left or right, I will point and say let's yeah. go to the green fence yeah. or the blue fence. Which is slightly discomfortable. There, I've got two black fences. Which yeah. Probably doesn't ideal for somebody. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but I have uh, quite a lot of people okay. who have le learning disabilities, but the funny thing is when they're on the horse, all those disabilities yeah. fade away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Thank you, Nettie. Okay. Well she went on the way. She went, should we do a video in the car where you just want to be in it, don't you? Oh, yeah, I do. I'm a bit psyched. Yeah, it's your famous Dunlop. What should I have white bit, please? Oh, I'm just going to take him home and shower him on. Oh, Alright. Don't worry. Just in the car on the way back from Brook Farm. Brilliant lesson with a really good Lewis. lesson. Fantastic as always. And Nebo jumped. Amazing. Yeah, loads as of lessons as well. I jump on because I'm a bit cold. Yeah, so we're part more. You might want to drink as well, Fee. Nebo's like that looks like me, but it's kind of small. three times as small. The little foal. Magic! Magic I find is a bit more inquisitive the last few days of what yeah. we're doing, which is nice.
Levi's just come off of the solarium. He's now nice and clean. And all of that sweat is gone. So he had a really good lesson with Annette Lewis. And he done really well. He's a superstar as usual. But thank you so much for watching and coming along on my lesson with me. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.